Hello everybody, I am your host Dave609. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be looking at more UIL Marching Band 2020 Area Contests. This time we have Area E. So we're going to basically be doing the same thing as we did with Area A. It'll be the same for um, Area B, C, and D. Now, uh, something else I'm going to note. Yes, there are si the, the 6A um, schedules are going to be in this video as well. I know I said I'm only going to be paying attention to 2A and 4A. So for 6A, I'll be making quicker videos. And I'm not going to go over schedules for um, Area F and so on. So yeah, we're going to go and get straight into this video. Since it's going to be a longer video, since there's 2, 2A, 4A, and 6A. So yeah, let's get started. Here we go. Our first conference we're going to be looking at, Conference 2A. In total, five bands have advanced. And based on the UIL rule, three bands will advance to the state marching contest. Unless they decide to change it due to there being even, a, even less... Um, bands going to area so we'll, we'll see how that works out but as the UI rule, UIL rule states it's three bands go to state no matter what unless 20 bands or more make it so we'll just see how it goes so yeah let's go ahead and look at the schedule for conference 2A area E alright here is the area E schedule for 2A as you can see five bands so yeah, I was going to go ahead and start at this uh, and look at this schedule. So the first band to be performing at 10 o'clock a.m. Three Rivers High School from Region 14. At 10:20 a.m., Falls City High School will be performing, and they are from Region 12. At 10:40 a.m., Ganado High School, Region 13, will be performing. At 11 o'clock a.m., uh, Pryor High School from Region 11 will be performing. And then at 11.20 a.m., Charlotte High School from Region 11 will be performing. And then there will be a judge's break at 11.40. And it doesn't say anything about there being in the announcements, so it may be possible that they are going to be doing announcements for 2A and 4A at the around the same time because they're in the same stadium for this contest for the area E contest so when looking at the bands who are performing for area E 2A um, two of those bands advanced to state in 2018 and one of the other bands Three Rivers High School was also at the area contest the two bands that um, advanced to state in 2018 was Falls City and Charlotte so, uh, Ganado and the Prior High School are both were not at area in 2018, and that's just what I'm seeing based on the uh, 2018 um, area results. So yeah, not much else for this. So there is the five bands performing for 2A area E, and based on the UIL rule, three of those bands will be advancing to the state marching contest. Or they may lower how many bands are going to go because of there being not as many bands performing. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and now and look at the two to the four A um, contest schedule. All right, now we're about to be looking at the area E four A schedule. Fourteen bands have advanced to the um, contest out of about 17 so either way three bands will be advancing to the state marching contest from area E there are some notable changes that for this uh, contest for area E since all the bands that advanced from 2018 are not competing this year which means three different bands will be going to the state marching contest uh, most of them who have not been in a bit of for a little while so we're gonna get straight into the um, schedule and then uh, see 
all the uh, information from the area E results from 2018, see who was there, and all that. So yeah, let's go straight into the schedule. Okay, here's the schedule for the Conference 4A Area E contest. 14 bands. Let's get straight into this schedule, see um, who is performing when. So after the judges break and they clear the bleachers and all that stuff, make sure it's all clean. Um, the first band at 12.40 p.m., Robstown High School from Region 14. At 1 o'clock p.m., um, Ingleside High School from Region 14 will be performing. At 1.20 p.m., Needville High School from Region 13 will be performing. At 1.40 p.m., Calhoun High School from Region 14 will be performing. At 2 o'clock p.m., Uvalde High School from Region 11 will be performing. At 2.20 p.m., El Campo High School from Region 13 will be performing. At 2.40 p.m., um, Cal Allen High School from Region 14 will be performing. And then at 3 o'clock, there will be a judge's break. And then they're going to do the uh, clearing the bleachers, cleaning them up, and make sh making sure everything's all good before they resume performances at 4 o'clock. So at 4 o'clock p.m., um, Stafford High School from Region 13 will be performing at 4.20 p.m. Raymondville High School will be performing and they're from Region 28. At 4.40 p.m. Sinton High School from Region 14 will be performing. At 5 o'clock p.m. Um, Navarro High School from Region 12 will be performing. 5.20 p.m. Pleasanton High School from Region 11 will be performing. At 4.40 p.m. Um, Kuro High School from Region 12 will be performing. And the last band at 6 o'clock p.m., Hondo High School from Region 11 will be performing. 14 bands, 3 bands get to advance to state. Now, when we look at the contest from 2018, a lot of those bands were at area. Um, Stafford, Robstown, Navarro, Hondo, Needville. Um, who else? Um, Ingleside and Sinton were all there. I didn't say I'm, all the bands were there because not all of them were there. Uh, most notably, um, it looks like Raymondville was not there. I think they were there in 2016, uh, I think, from there. So, yeah. It's definitely a harder one to choose because a lot of these bands are very good. Um, probably some notable ones. Um, Cal Allen, who was a 5A. Um, Stafford, who has been very good over the past years. Just haven't been able to advance to the state contest. Um, even Robstown, who's going first. But it's just it's up to... It's up to the judges, and it's also up to the um, performers for the each band to see if they get to advance to the state marching contest and join um, the other bands who have already advanced. So yeah, that is the 4A schedule, and yeah, so good luck to everybody from 4A, good luck to everybody from 2A. This, will, this contest is on December 5th, which is a... I'm guessing about almost less than a week. So yeah, let's go hang in straight into the 6A schedule. Okay, here we go uh, for the 6A schedule for the Area E contest. Ten bands have advanced to the Area E um, area contest. So yeah, we're going to go and just do a quick look at the schedule. Plus see who um, is competing from that made it to state in 2018. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the schedule. Okay, here is the schedule for Area E for 6A. Ten bands, as you can see on the schedule. So we're going to go and get straight into this. So the first band to perform, Clearbrook, will be at 11 o'clock. Clear Lake will be at 11.20. Deer Park at 11.40. Then there will be a short break at 12 o'clock. And then... Channel View will go perform at 1220. 
Dawson at 1240, George Ranch at 1 o'clock. Then there will be a longer break um, from 1.20 until about 2 o'clock. Then at 2 o'clock, Clear Falls will perform at, at a 2.20, Clear Creek, 2.40, Clear Springs, and at 3 o'clock, Pierland. And then verification stuff at around 3.30 and bands advancing to state will be at 3.50. So yeah, we're going to go and do a quick look at, um, or I'm going to explain to you uh, what bands were at state the year before that are performing this year. So only two bands are performing um, that made it to state in 2018, Pierland and Dawson. Um, other bands that are performing that were at area in 2018, uh, Clear Brook, Clear Lake, Clear Falls. Um, who else have we got? Uh, George Ranch, Channel View, Deer Park, Clear Creek. So, yeah, a lot of bands that aren't that were at area are not performing due to uh, the current situation. But to the ten bands that are competing at area E, good luck to everybody. Uh, that contest is December fifth. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the um, area E schedule video. And just to let y'all know um, that I will be making a full video on all bands that advance to the state marching contest for 2A and 4A, and I'll just congratulate the bands that made it from 6A. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the Area C and the Area D schedule videos, and some point next week, before December 8th, the Area B schedule video will be out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm Day609. Peace out.